Hello there, everyone. Welcome to New Heights Wrestling. My name is Jeannie Jem. And on today's episode, we will see the New Heights Wrestling Tag Team Championships on the line as our newly crowned champions, The Reckoning, put their titles on the line against the newly crowned number one contenders, Bodie O'Hara and Sam Phoenix. The Reckoning and The Voice, Justin Michaels, captured the titles by defeating the Exodus at Grand Slam. Now they are looking to retain the title at all cost. Sam and Bodie earned this shot at The Reckoning by defeating the Pumpkin Patch on night one of Aces High. Our cameras were able to catch up with Bodie and Sam earlier today. Let's go to that footage now. Bodie last night. I was impressed, man. But, uh, you know, that put us up for a great opportunity, man, and I don't want us to mess that up tonight. No, no, I, I think me and you, we've got potential. We've got something. Oh, we yeah, can baby. take on the reckoning. Yeah, but uh, like I said, don't mess this up, bro. Hey fans, it's the man they call Dave with producer Joe, and you probably know us as the commentary team for New Heights Pro Wrestling, but when we're not doing that, we got a podcast. That is the Working Fans Podcast, where we talk pro wrestling, comedy, MMA, and so much more. And tell them about that signature segment. Oh, you talk about the 531? You know I am. That is a homegrown creation that has been our namesake. And if you want to know our namesake, we got Chevy, AJ Strange Brew, as well as the two of us. And why don't you go to our uh, channel, like, subscribe, show us some love. Great review, all of it. Hey there, everyone. My name is Jeannie Jem, and I am here to remind you that you need to follow New Heights Wrestling on all forms of social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You want to stay informed on all the exciting things that are happening in New Heights Wrestling, including our first ever women's title matches. Please make sure you follow us on social media and remember to stay sparkly. Check out the fast-paced action wrestling card game, Go Fight Pow! Create your own intergalactic fight club and play out the results of your own wrestling company, featuring over 100 unique characters and some of wrestling's hottest stars of past and present. The possibilities are endless. Visit gofightpow.fws.store and become a promoter today. Do you need graphic design work or an event photographer? JWP Graphics and Photography is the company for you. Work with one of the most gifted and talented graphic designers and event photographers in the state of Florida today. Contact JWP Graphics and Photography today for pricing and information. Welcome to an event that's 16 years in the making. New Heights Wrestling will be holding their 16th anniversary show on December 9th at the Walton County Fairgrounds in Defuniac Springs, Florida. Featuring Scott Armstrong in the Women's Championship Tournament Finals, Get there early as doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is at 7. $8 general admission tickets, $15 front row tickets. Kids 6 to 11 are $6. Kids 5 and under are free. You are not going to want to miss this 16th anniversary extravaganza. Big Tag Team Championship match coming at you next. That's right, and we're the tag team for this match. I'm the man called Dave. That's producer Joe. We're from the Working Fans Podcast. We're ready to call the action. Justin Michaels making his way to ringside. Hear the crowd already responding. Speaking of a man not afraid to talk. Reckoning won those titles off of Exodus at our last event. This is their first defense. Jeremiah in front, JD behind him. And we saw last night that Sam Phoenix, Bodie O'Hara getting a chance to become the number one contenders. And now tonight they have a shot at those championships. Seeing a little cohesion with the team, wearing each other's gear. Let's see what Justin Michaels has to say. Florida, if there is anywhere, Carrie 
Springfield, Florida is number one on my list. That's right. Everyone is number one on my list. Of the work. I don't know if that was coming from. Where does the time begin? Oh, let's see. The half bathroom in my bedroom's condominium seats more people than this. How about that turn of the century? The central area that you got going right there. I bet you can look behind the wall one of your pet squirrels is watching. Michael's calling out the number one contenders. It never has, he's never short on anything to say. See these guys coming out wearing each other's shirts. Trying to get some tag team cohesion there because you're going up against one of the most powerful tag teams in New Heights wrestling. Sam Phoenix and Bodie O'Hare for the first time teaming up last night. They had some chemistry together. And here they are. What an opportunity. And even though Justin Michaels went short story long there, he had a good point. These two men wrestled last night, and even though it was the Pumpkins, we saw an extra viciousness in the Pumpkins that wasn't usually there. And that means that no matter what, these men are not 100% going up against a completely rested reckoning. Absolutely. The last time the Reckoning were 100% rested, they won those tag team championships. But the Reckoning, you know, they've been in New Heights wrestling for a while. They're the tag champs. You know, it's another day at the office for these guys. But for O'Hara, for Phoenix, this is the big time. This is the biggest match right now in New Heights wrestling for them. And that opportunity, you know, 
at Adrenaline, it can do some strange things. Yeah, the Reckoning have been running wild in New Heights Wrestling for just about two years here. And Sam Phoenix and Bodie O'Hara both debuted at Fright Nights last year. Whoa. And the Reckoning not wasting not. any time to see who's going to get in the ring. They're just going to take it to them both. JD with that front face lock on Phoenix in the ring now stopping the midsection. Yeah, that might have been a mistake there by uh, Bodie and Sam. You don't need to be wasting time trying to figure out who's going to get there. You should know that before you even go out. And the Reckoning took advantage of that, and they're beating them down right now. And it speaks to the inexperience of this team. JD and Jeremiah did not have to decide who was first going nope. in there. Sure, they had that game plan ahead of time. I mean, we've seen it. Sam Phoenix is a bit of a loner, likes to do things on his own. And Bodie O'Hara, happy to team with anybody. And like we said, his good manners in the locker room, the way he handled himself, got him in a spot where he could get put in that number one contender's match. That's a tag of Jeremiah. Gotta wonder if these two men are a little in over their heads now. Ooh, big right hands. An indefinite size and power advantage in favor of the Reckoning here. They are two big men. Even though Sam Phoenix might have the speed, Bodie O'Hara has the cunning and the power. I don't know if it quite matches up to what the Reckoning are bringing. All power moves, all delivered with ill intent. That is a little hard to combat. Ooh, big leg drop. Took his time to look at Sam Phoenix, figure out where would the leg drop be most devastating, and going for the pin. Oh. Not even giving Sam Phoenix a chance to kick out. Pulling Sam Phoenix up, letting us know that, Jeremiah letting us know that he is not done with Sam Phoenix. Well, that can be a mistake that can haunt you. If you have a chance to put somebody away, you need to do it. But he's cutting off the ring, whipping Sam Phoenix into his own corner. Now JD coming in, big shot to the midsection. Delivering those powerful shoulders right to Phoenix's midsection. Well, That's going to come back later if he needs to kick out, if he needs to get his oxygen about him. And these guys are really wearing him out. He's going to need that energy to try to get to the other side of the ring. Stepping on Sam Phoenix's throat in the corner there. Now that the ref is distracted, you see Jeremiah going at the throat there. Trying to hurt Sam Phoenix a little extra. Got to wonder if Justin Michaels is lining up for something. You always got to keep an eye on Justin Michaels outside of the ring. Sam Phoenix trying to fight his Ooh. way free. Big kick from JD. Fires oh, Phoenix yeah. into the ropes. Catches that crossbody attempt. Look at the power. The power of JD oh, on display. Oh, Ooh, and he knees, holds him. Knees to the ribs. Oh, the it was Samoan Trump. Look at that power, that quickness. Sam Phoenix somehow Ooh. kicking out at two and a half. Oh, it's a Justin Michaels. He's saying, get it out of here. Yeah, trying to get him to hurry this thing up so they can go home. Ooh. But that momentary distraction, Sam Phoenix got the jawbreaker. Bodie O'Hara tagging himself in. Oh, Sam wait Phoenix a not happy about that blind tag. And now Bodie O'Hara just ate a clothesline. I don't know what Sam's problem is here, though. You know, he was taking quite a bit of punishment. He got the momentum and should have made that tag. I think he thought he had it handled somehow. I'm not sure what he was thinking, but... Phoenix going to break oh. it up. Getting caught in the... Oh, oh hey, Bodie, Bodie he's got his partner's back. Avoided that powerful choke slam from JD there. But now JD has... Oh! oh. That powerful that. Bodie O'Hara lariat laying out his partner. Oh, oh. Big double team move from the Reckoning. What are they lining up for here now? I think it's going to be a similar thing. Short oh, slamming oh, Sam Phoenix onto Bodie O'Hara, stacking him. Oh, man. And going for the Disrespectful. They don't care. They got the win. Justin Michaels got to be happy.
powerful, but I don't know if they're forever tag team champions, but they did retain here tonight. Take this trash out to the garbage. I mean, pardon the pun, but they showed why they are a force to be reckoned with in New Heights, and now they're disposing of Bodie O'Hara and Sam Phoenix from the ring, throwing them like trash to the outside. And Justin Michaels got what he wanted. This is done quick. They still have the championships. It was impressive. They showed why they're their champs. Love them or hate them, they're a force, as you said, to be reckoned with. But I like you question that forever champion. There's a lot of great teams here, and they're all going to be nipping at the heels and want a shot at these guys. Now, after this dominant performance here tonight, you got to wonder who these two are going to be facing or if they're even going to be at the 16th anniversary show. Well, if so, I don't know. Like you said, there's a lot of great teams out there. But yeah, who, get that shot. Whoever's going to be facing them is going to have their hands full. This is how quick they can take out a man the size of Bodie O'Hara and a man with the fighting spirit that Sam Phoenix brought to the ring. And you got Justin Michaels. But to keep up with all things New Heights Wrestling, use that hashtag in HW Pro. Follow New Heights Wrestling on Facebook and YouTube. But most importantly, thank you for watching. Good night, everybody.